What's up guys, Coop here, and today we're actually going to be doing a very informal tour of my room, which if my camera could adjust, that'd be great. There we go. <laughs> informal is crap today, obviously. So today we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a tour around some of the stuff. Obviously, not all my room's done. I still have more projects to go, but I decided to take down the green screen. I thought the green screen was... It was good. It, it served its purpose pretty well, but I think we can do a little bit more with it later on. Um, I have some bigger projects where eventually I'll be having like a nice little green screen sort of office area. But for right now, I just wanted to kind of liven it up a little bit. It, a lot of my videos are just like me with a green screen in the back. And I wanted to change it up and add a little bit of character. So let me actually dive in and show you guys some of the different things that I've done with some little edits and cuts in between. So, like I said, very informal video today. Uh, there will be an actual legitimate channel update eventually later on this week. The first thing is I went to Dave and & Buster's and I basically won like a crap ton of like points and everything with a bunch of different games. So I was debating on a bunch of different things. I had a giant poop emoji bean bag and I was like, that could be cool. But I saw a bunch of really geek plushies, so I saw Rick and Morty, which obviously is like one of the best TV shows out there. If you guys haven't checked that out, check that show out. And then, I might even try to go over here. I got one of each starter Pokemon and Pikachu of the original first gen. And I saw Bulbasaur, and Bulbasaur is my favorite Pokemon personally. And on top of that, he was like the first Pokemon I ever started with. It was like um, back in the original games, I actually grinded them up all the way to level 100, which is kind of tough because the highest level things out there was the Elite Four. So you had to basically do the Elite Four over and over and over and over and over again. So my Venusaur literally was would just tank through the entire thing of the uh, Elite Four just to get to the point of level 100, which very tough accomplishment to do back in the day, especially at a young age. But yeah, I saw this and I was like, I had to get all of them. So, and especially uh, Bulbasaur is like one of the few Pokemon out there that doesn't have like any toys for it. Uh, there's always Pikachu, there's always Squirtle, and there, there's definitely always Charmander everywhere. But I saw Bulbasaur and I was like, finally, my time. So, really cool thing there. Uh, next is actually my bookshelf. Uh, the bookshelf is still under development. This this whole thing's changing. I'm painting it. I'm gonna add glowing colors to it. All types of craziness. But let me actually show you. Very informal here. <laughs> but let me actually show you guys some of the books I have here because they're actually relatively good ones. Uh, this one actually I have a really cool story for. Uh, this is the Bavi uh, I think it's Bagiva Gita. Vita Gita. It's a, either way. This is a really uh, actually good book. So I was sitting alone coding for college and everything while sitting on a bench, and there's these different monks and everything, and they go around on campus, and you know they try to spread their spirituality, and they try to get fundraising to help raise their events. You know, you know, asking for generosity and everything out there. And this monk came up to me, and I, at the time, I was poor. I was, I think, like, really deep into debt during that time period. And it was actually really awesome because he came up to me, and he was like, oh, would you like to buy me these books? And I was like, ah, how much are they? Because I'm actually kind of tight on cash. And he was like, well, you can pay anything you want. And I was like, I, I'm i sorry, sir, I really don't have any money, but I do like your cause. And then he was just like, here, take this book. And I was like, you sure? Like, I, I, I don't have any money, like, to give you. And he gave it to me, and he told me it's a really good book. I think you'll really like it. Trust me, this this book will like actually make you look at things differently. And I thought that was really weird. Like, <laughs> I mean, just having some person tell you like this book will change your life. And I, I decided to actually read about it, and it gets into a lot of like spirituality, a lot of um, different ide ideology. Um, it, it changes up a little bit of the things. Like, there's a little bit of stuff that's a bit different from. Um, you know, stuff that you're traditionally taught, but it really gets into deeply how the soul works and how, like, you really think about life. So, highly recommend that book to you. Um, it's a book that I never expected to read and would never normally care, but it was pretty good. Greatest horror book in the world. It is about, it is the case of for Mars. It's not an actual horror book. It's an information book, and it describes detailed plans of how 
we uh, have built-in plans to go and colonize Mars. It actually gets into the science of it. It gets into how it's done, uh, what is exactly the plans going forward, why is it a good thing, and everything out there. A lot of people look at Mars as like a lifeless rock and how it's not really important. And that's a cool concept, but there's really no profit there. There's actually a lot to be done. Um, with just a couple billion dollars, which I know sounds crazy, really, really high amount of cash, you can actually make trillions of dollars just from doing that investment alone, just from mining the minerals on Mars alone. So there's actually a lot of really cool things on here. Like, for example, I always thought that, you know, we travel to Mars when it's closest. It's actually not the case. Due to gravity and how our world works, and then also how, you know, we rotate around the sun, it actually requires more gas and effort to get all the way up to Mars and land there. It's actually better to go at the farthest point where you can escape the world's gravity with just a little bit of gas, follow the rotation of the sun with a little minor boost and adjustments along the way, and then land on Mars with using close to no gas at all. So I always wondered that because I was like, man, that's going to require a lot of gas. It actually doesn't for a rocket ship. Uh, it's just enough to just get out of uh, Earth's gravity. More science for you guys. Next is obviously my computer science systems architecture, uh, all about binary coding, um, you know, hexadecimals, a little bit of C++. So I even have it bookmarked to where hex hexadecimal was because that was the last test I did. Uh, really good book. Uh, this is like the Bible. If you're getting into computer science or coding or programming in general, I highly recommend this book. Um, most colleges are going to recommend it because it does people, it does like, not people first language, but it does like a very basic language compared to most books where they try to get all hot, you know, haughty about everything. But this book was actually really good and it was very helpful and it was one of the biggest books that got me into computer science programming. Lastly is my cheat book. It, this is called, well, I just knocked everything over, uh, Our 50 States. This book is actually really awesome. It talks about the history of every single uh, state out there. It talks about, like, you know, major events that happened in those states. It talks about when it was founded, you know, what sort of legislation has going on. Uh, there's also different, like, flowers of e each and every state. It talks about the mottos. Everything you really need to know about each of the states is on here. This is an actual book I read all the time. You know, it isn't something I'm a very, like, I, I, I go out of my way and I'm like, oh my god, I love this book. But it is a book that's uh, helped me out with a lot of understanding how our sort of, uh, you know, country works and a lot of, like, how we got our different states. And it was a good cheat book for helping me get past through a lot of my, uh, you know, American history classes. So, highly recommend that. Next is, obviously, I have my World of Warcraft classic book here. So with World of Warcraft uh, Classic coming out, I thought it was important for me to kind of read up. Um, I did play back in the day, and I'm going to be doing a lot of streaming and things out there. I'm trying to make it to where when I jump into Classic, I am, you know, really, really well-versed in it. Um, and, you know, obviously, I was the age of 10 when I used to play. I had no fucking clue how to play video games at all. So I really wanted to get make sure that I had a decent amount of studying going forward for that. So... Be excited for that, because World of Warcraft Classic, if you're a World of Warcraft fan, you're going to love this. We're going back to the roots. We're going to be studying this hard. Um, you know, everything from, like, everything out there. It even has all the quest lines. It tells you all the racials. Um, it even tells you, like, what their basic stats are for some of the uh, races out there, which I don't think my camera's going to show this, but, yeah. Really cool. Really cool in general. Now let's actually get to some of the cool stuff here. So, I got a bunch of posters, and as you can see here, this is a really cool one of Deadpool riding a unicorn while shooting down a, what appears to be Godzilla. So, <laughs> really cool. Um, the only issue is the frames are, little, are a little bit bigger than, uh, you know, they said at the uh, shop. Uh, so, good job, employee. But, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding a bunch of... LED lights, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to center up the posters, and then I'm going to add the LED lights around the edges, and it's going to add a really, really cool glow around it. So hopefully the next time you guys see a video, it will be done and complete. And then, uh, of course, I've got a bunch of other stuff down there, but that's mainly just boxes for a lot of the new equipment I got, like a Skullcandy headphone 
Uh, these headphones are pretty awesome. Uh, they've got bass, a little bass slider. So that's really awesome as well. Also, we've got the Razer, I think it's Chromata? Yeah, Chromata, which uh, different, it glows different colors and everything out there. And then the next thing that we're going to be really working on is obviously those LED lights. I've also got light bulbs, which will all be changed with the power of this remote I have over here. So that'll be very exciting. So it's going to have a bunch of different color schemes. And then we can like change it up with the different situations going on, all the stuff out there. So if I could actually... So yeah, different color schemes. It's going to be really cool. Uh, it has different modes for different things. I think we're going to do like a red and blue theme for a, a tiny bit there. Um, and everything will be really, really well. So I've got a few more posters and everything, but I wanted to give you guys kind of like a day one of what is going on. Uh, there's going to be more upgrades to the office as time goes on. Obviously, I'm going to get more geek wear. I'm trying to get more collectibles out there. So if you guys have any recommendations of uh, places to get good collectibles, check that out as well. This camera could focus. There we go. But uh, yeah. Uh, I definitely think that uh, it's gonna be really cool. I just wanted to spice it, you know, kind of change everything up. Um, obviously, this is day one, so I might make another like day two, day three, day four of what, as I slowly upgrade this office and put really cool things out there. But I don't know if you guys find this interesting. It was just kind of, I mean, I'm wearing my work shirt and I'm like rugged and I haven't even shaved today, but um, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of tell you guys about my stuff. So, anyways, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.